Hey, it's Coolio, if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing Legend of Lagaya. So, last time, we ended up in the Sabucus Islands, and um, we have awakened one of the Genesis trees over in Jeremy. I think that's the one. Yeah. And then we came to the Gate of Shadows over here. Pretty sure that's it. And we met the Ginyu Force, by which I mean the you know, Delilah's family or something. Also, these things. Also, there's a chest up here, by the way. Oh, with the magic leaf. Definitely want that. I think there are also more chests, so we're gonna look around a little bit for those. Jewel! Hi! Hi, you. Wow, all three, and still standing. All right. Oh, that's unfortunate. Mm. Um, I will have you cast Vera. You're gonna take a longer to take your turn, unfortunately, but. Uh, you also have the most MP, and I would rather not use a magic leaf. I can, still can't buy them as far as I can tell. Not gonna worry too much about um, acquiring abilities right now. There is one that I would like to get during this uh, session. I don't know if it's too late for me to get it. It might be, I'm not sure. But um, there's one really good one around Optin. I think there's supposed to be like a hidden path or not. Hmm. Cause I, I was admittedly reading up a little bit on where do we go next. Just to make sure that we don't end up stuck uh, for like two hours here trying to um, you know, find the next story beat. Oh. I'm trying I'm trying to pull up the Instructions here. Because oh. what it is, is there's a bunch of books in Octum. And um, those books pretty much tell you how to arrange the color pedestals here. And it's entirely possible that it's actually going to make me.
Yeah, because I can't even interact with these right now, it seems like. Oh, there it is. Well, I found the secret path. Uh, you're still gonna act as a healer right now. Party is not looking too hot right now, not gonna lie. AP is uh, not looking too hot, uh, honestly. Well, Jewel, funny you should mention that. Nope. Not on yourself, on Noah. Okay, so we got a miracle water out of that. Which I think a miracle water upgrades all stats. Yeah, all stats plus four. Oh, who do I want to give that to? You know what? Leave it up to chance. Close my eyes, and I'm pressing across and... Well, I was closing my eyes and then I kind of stopped like that. Close my eyes again, pressing cross, now. But I guess it was Vaughn. Anyway, we are missing an item is what it comes down to. Yeah, the, the water items are uh, permanent upgrades. So... <coughs> We're going to want to go back to Octum for a particular reason. Uh, well, for two reasons. Because one, there's a Seru there that we really would like to have. And two, there is um, a certain set of, ex of instructions that we need to, to get from there. Then we have to go all the way back to Jeremy because someone has something there for us. Uh, let's spirit you guys up, because uh, 
you keep spending all your AP. Get a healing flower out of that. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, we got a long way to go. It's part of the um, PlayStation RPG experience, right here. Surprise the enemy. Surprise them by escaping. Also surprise them by hydrating. And you at home can do it too. Why to read the sign? God dang it. Got stuck on the geometry. Because of course I did. Let me tell you, it's going to be real nice to, uh, to get back to town because uh, our stats, our vitals I should say, are not looking too great. Oh goody, paralyzed. Can we make it two for two? Yeah, we sure can. Great. Okay. Fortunately, Vaughn's got to get knocked out of that. Um, I'm going to have you, Vera, Noah. Noah, you're going to keep attacking. And Gala can't do anything right now. And Gala can do something again, but it shall not be for this turn. It's a mystic Karen. And then Gala just kind of stares off into nowhere. I'm sorry, Jewel. I tried. It's not my fault this chair is garbage. Eternal struggle of uh, trying to find a chair that uh, doesn't start freaking falling apart a month after owning it. Okay. Let's get some stretching in too. Hey! And the other side. And there. Boy. 
I mean, you can't even call it the old Kraken because, uh, well, as far as a chair goes, anyway, it's very new cracking. Okay, so we gotta go south to Octum. And think, we even have the item equipped that uh, reduces, um, reduces encounter rates, so it should be even worse than this. Oh good. Let's let's divide. Great. Ah, oh, gal, I ain't looking too hot. I don't know what sort of effect that'll have, but let's try it. And you heal yourself. Well, it's definitely not gonna, be, gonna have the effect that I was intending because uh, that slime just died. Well, at the very least, one one of them is gone. I was trying so hard not to point that out. Unfortunately, well... <laughs> oh, Jewel. You are a Jewel. I think Octum is over here, possibly. I use Spirit Up. Nice luck there. <laughs> trying to trying to spear it up so that she can regain some uh, some AP, and then just immediately spends all of it. No, there was nothing here. Okay, good. I'm glad that we spent all that time. Okay, both of you spirit up.
All right, sounds good, Jewel. Here comes this. So yeah, ain't nothing there, so now you gotta run all the way back up. Oh, yeah, I just saw it. It's right around the bend here, I just went the wrong way, because of course I did. Actually, it occurs to me, and I don't know why it didn't occur to me earlier, we could have just used the Doors of Wind. Well, anyway. <laughs> hmm. Oh, this is Vidna. This is not Optum. I thought, what the, why did I think this was Vidna? Why did I think this was Optum? Oh my goodness, names are hard. Okay. Um, anyway, there is an in here. Let's stay at the end. Okay, we are back up to full. Um, since we're here, let's check out the shops. The metal ring. Might be nice to have, but uh, we don't have nearly the money for that. Let's buy a bunch of doors of wind, honestly. And by a bunch, I apparently mean five. Um, let's look for an equipment shop as well. Probably got some upgrades here too that we can afford now. Let's get Noah the Fighter Claw. Let's give Vaughn the Master Boots. That'll be it for now, I guess, because uh, we're out of money. If we're out of money, then I'm out of time. Um, can I use... Oh, I can't use them in town.
And y'all gotta take off your Saru. Yeah, I know it's coming for you. Okay, um, can I use a Door of Wind to go to Octo? No, I cannot. Have we been to Octum? Maybe that's the problem. Well, it ain't this way. Unless I can, like, skim the coast there. I do wish that someone would retranslate this game and actually have the, um, no, I can't go that way. Actually have, like, the actual lines that, uh, were cut out of the North American release. And that's a fishing spot. I really wish that there were a uh, your uh, spirit up. I really wish that there were maps of like there are maps of the dungeons, but there are not overworld maps as far as I can tell. It's a little harder to do those because you know sprawling through the environments. But also, if someone came up with maps for. There we go. If someone came up with uh, maps for the dungeons, then someone can come up with maps for the overworld somehow. Hit those Minotaur out of my face. I do kind of wish that you could run into Seru in the other world. Unfortunately, you cannot. Y'all don't all need to use your hyper arts at once, guys. Please. Even if you're leveling up Gala. Well, there's Jeremy. Okay, so here, specifically, provided that we have the proper, you know, uh, story triggers here. And you're just gonna... Oh, 
But we need to find the right person, and I forget where they are. The town of Jeremy. Home of the town Jeremy. Also, hey, Tyrion. Right now, it's a, a bit of flailing about because I forget exactly where to go. Because we gotta go to we gotta go to Octum for one thing, and I forgot where Octum is. We apparently cannot use the Door of Wind to get there. Possibly because we've never been there before. Yes, there's still Sarah. Wait. Zelen, who's in the southwest part of town. Gotcha. You. You are the dude that I need to talk to. But if it isn't the Rasta who heroes, I have a favor to ask of you. Will you listen? Sure thing. Oh, thank you. I have a wife and son in Vidna. I don't know how things are in Vidna, but if they are alive, I want them to know I'm safe. That's why I wrote this letter. But I can't deliver the letter because of the mist outside town. I heard that you can travel through the mist. All I ask of you is that you deliver this letter to my wife and son in Vidna. My wife's name is Yuma. My son is called Pebe. I hope that they are safe. I shall take this opportunity to remind you all that uh, I don't have any BTTV emotes set up either on my channel or on my chat overlay so please don't try um so we gotta go to vidna i'm actually gonna use my doors of wind like i should have been doing Not sure why I decided to interrupt the music, but, you know, whatever. You want to see Octum? Are you literally gonna... wait. Octum situated north of Vidna. Let's have a flying wagon transport. It's also a Temple of Rem. Uh huh. So this is basically mental tourism, is what you're doing. <laughs> you know, saying see Octum and die, right? <laughs> sure. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, Pavel is behind the hot spring. He came with his mother and got stuck here. And yeah, that's an awfully specific thing to say, but uh, it's also useful. You're the kid, right? No thanks. I work at mommy's at the hot spring. I don't know if I don't know if that was the correct house. Let's try. Oh, hello. Yes, I'm Pepe. But what do you want? Yeah, hooray! It's Pepe. It's Pepe. Oh, Pepe, listen, we Pepe's alive. I mean, of course you're alive. This letter and Jeremy, Alan. 
but I'm sorry. She's very excited. Uh-huh, <laughs> uh-huh. Uh -huh. We have a letter from you, from your father and Jerry. Here it is. To my dearest human Pepe, if you're reading this letter, I'm thankful you are safe. I'm writing uh, you out of concern for your safety. Jeremy was covering mist, but thanks to the very roster, we are free at last. I lost my memory when mist first came, and now I'm completely recovered. I suppose Vidna is, com is covered by the mist as well. Other than the madness of the Sarah has not possessed you. I have so many things to ask. It's been over ten years since you left for Vidna, but it seems like only yesterday since we bid farewell smiling. Yuma, does the ring I, still I gave you still sparkle? Pepe, how many gems? I want to be with you. I want to tell you how much I love you. Stay, stay healthy and strong. Until we meet again, I won't lose hope. Your father, Fat Fingers Zalan. I don't know why he's called that, especially if he is a jeweler. <laughs> when I was small, I asked mother what attracted her to father. She said it was his fat but nimble fingers. Okay. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. I'll tell you the truth, somewhere in my heart, I had given up on father. But he's alive. Oh, thank you for bringing the letter. Thank you so much. If only Mother were alive, too. Yes, three years ago, she fell ill and died. Now, oh, wait a minute. This is a keepsake of my mother. If you would, please give it to Father. I have Yuma's ring. Please tell father, tell Zalan of Jeremy that his son is alive. <laughs> Gal just pensively looking out the window. Yep, fat fingers. We're uh We're just going to accept that fact and uh, move right along. And head back to Jeremy, where we have to talk to that guy. Uh, door of wind. Jeremy. I've been waiting for you. Did you give my wife and son the letter I asked you to deliver? Well, your son, at least. This, this is the ring I gave to Yuma. Uh, I see. So Yuma is no longer with us. Wish I could have stayed by her side. It's my only regret. But thank goodness Pepper is safe. Someday when the mist is gone, I will go to Vidna. I will go to see Pepe. I, will, I know that you can make that day come. Please wait a moment. This is a token of my appreciation. Please take it. I have Zalan's crown. I'm just a humble jeweler, but if there's anything I can ever do for you, please let me know. Okay, that's not the item that I was expecting. Oops. Yeah, this is probably equipment. Let's see what it does. Oh, no! That's a special item. Hmm. So, a crown from Zalan 
Was exquisite worksmanship. Increase AP accrual by 10%. So it's, is it equipment? Um. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Um. So you're already wearing the metal ring. Let's give it to you, I guess. Okay, um... Let's see. I'm reading here because this again to avoid getting stuck for too long. Return once again to Vidna and get and get ready to finally head for Octum. Follow the path north, then it curves east. When it does, it'll lead you to fork, fork in the path. Where there's a bridge going up to the north. Ignore this bridge and stick to the path south. It takes you to around where you'll find the ancient city Octum. Okay, I think that that is like the one way that I haven't gone yet. I think. Have I gone that way? Well, we'll find out. Uh, using yet another door of wind to head over to Vidna. As far as I can tell, that was a necessary step. It just wasn't the step that I thought it was. Okay. So from Vidna, we go north. Actually, hang on. You spirit up. You also spirit up. Duly taken care of. Yes, So that is the bridge that the guide was talking about. And so we are to ignore that bridge and keep going east away. Ignore that bridge and stick the path south. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, stick to the path south. I don't think we've been this way. Octum has been here the entire time. Don't I feel silly? It's Octum! Vaughn, Gala, this must be Octum! Yes, this would appear to be to be the Octum, as it was told to me in past dreams. Hmm. <laughs> Hooray! We're in Octum! Yeah! That means Hari is here, right? He's the one who can tell me what, what my dreams mean. Hari! So where's Hari? Come on, Hari! I want you to tell me what my dreams mean! No, wait! Calm down! You must calm down! But... Listen, look around you. Octum is enveloped in the mist. Could any ordinary human being survive here? But I just... Noah, forget about Hari for now. We can look for him when the mist is gone. You're so mean, Gala! <laughs> Wait, I know! The Genesis Tree! If we find it, we can drive out the mist! Terra, Terra! Tell me, is the Genesis Tree close by? I'm sorry, Noah. Unfortunately, I do not sense the presence of a Genesis tree here. No, it's not fair! <laughs> As she mood swings super hard, I don't know. Vaughn, what do you think? Well, let's at least look around. Oh, Vaughn, you're my favorite! So there, Gala. You have to do whatever Vaughn says. Very well, then. But if we don't find anything, Noah, well, then... We must forget about Octum and about Hari. Aww. But Vaughn... Uh, oh, sorry. But Vaughn, there is something that troubles me. In mist-covered towns, there are always people possessed by Cyril. But I detect none here. If we must search the town, let's be very careful. careful. Gala, you talk like such a big shot. Vaughn, well, let's look for Hari. There's, there's clearly a button there, and I would like to press it, but uh, the game is not allowing me to do so. Oh. Octum Station. Interesting. Sign of things to come, perhaps? There's a book called Official's, Official Guide to Sightseeing in Sabuca's Islands. Sure, why not? Oops. And, our, and hop north and head east to reach the Gate of Shadows. Okay. Yes. Ocean waves if you press your ear against those massive stones. Sure. Uh, flying trains. Uh, flying trains, huh? Uh, rickshaws. Lovely crew's appearance. Sorry. Flying Seru. Lovely. But I guess we're not going to Caristo Kingdom anytime soon. Ah! 
They're trying to skip some text here. And... Some of the islands. The rest of the pages are missing. How dare they? Rem Shrine. Trying to get to Rem, creator of the 99 islands in the Sabucus Archipelago. It's 33 hot springs and 11 volcanoes. Interesting. Welcome back, Jewel. I've returned, but at what cost? Rem Shrine contains a massive stone identical to the one in the Gate of Shadows in the East. I'm sure that is significant. So we probably need to find the Rem Shrine, is what this is saying, probably. Why did that door open down there? Did I, like, find a secret switch? Oh, I really wish that I wasn't attacking him some more. Because that's the nice thing about Tough Love, is that, um, provided that you don't attack that enemy anymore, it becomes charm. Uh, you know what? Just keep attacking. Apologies for the um, very loud music that is happening in the parking lot. I have very little control over that. By which I mean, like, basically none. All I can do is, like, close the window, which I will do now. Sorry about that. Seriously, some people have no regard for uh, residents. Uh, it's not what I want to meet though. Because this is a, uh, a mist-infested area, so there should be some Seru. By should, I mean there definitely is Seru. Like, there definitely are Seru here. And one that I would really like to see right now. It is 
thing is, Twitch's rules have changed, and so my rules also kind of gotta change. It used to be that you can just mark a stream 18 plus. Like, it's just one switch and that's it. Um, yeah, no longer the case. Um, now you have to specifically mention why your stream has mature content. Which is kind of lame, honestly. There it is. Tyrion. Lewd. Wow. And holding. How dare you? <laughs> I kind of would rather Vaughn has this magic. Because I've kind of designated him as the caster, basically. Well, we're not going to get it the first time around. I am going to give him the Ivory Book to kind of increase our chances of getting that because we really want to have that. Instead of Zalon's crown, I rewrote. Actually, no. Turn off the silver compass. Oh, swift water is hiding over here. All right. Game being all crafty and stuff. Uh, slowest right now is Gala. Let's see. Yeah, give it to Vaughn, actually. Keep fighting orb. Um, you're going to heal yourself. Oh, that's right. 
Hey, there we go. That is very good. Orb indeed. Um, and y'all know how I feel about memes. But um, yes, orb is a very good thing in this case. Uh, let's put on the silver compass again. Because it doesn't have as much of an effect as I would like. Oh, this is going to be one of those nights, is it? Okay. <clears throat> Hydration achieved. Let's give you the ivory book. Been in the sin. Piece of paper on the dresser. Oh boy. not really do ring fit anymore at all despite wanting to but um, I can still put my knowledge to work and uh, do some of the stretches in, in there uh do you wish to read yes why I want we launch the plan travel light is that literally all that says cool all right So let's go ahead and demonstrate orb. Recover HP, all allies. Which is exactly what Jewel was asking for. Probably about as much as Vera. I don't remember exactly. Oh, wow! That was uh, that was a substantial effect. Uh, that was very expensive, though. Actually, not that expensive, because Orb is uh, 80 MP, Vera is 6 MP, and Orb is basically casting Vera three times in the same turn. So, it cost-wise, it's about the same, it's just faster. Basically, it, it will reduce our dependency on healing blooms, for sure. Because it heals more than healing blooms. And... Um, heals everyone. So the second person that should have that is, uh, is Noah. Because uh, she's not the designated caster, but she is the fastest character. Let's 
still feel like there's something that we haven't found yet. I like how that character is called Curry Devil. I believe there is one obvious door that we haven't been in yet. And that's pretty much the door that we need to use. have big phantom I can't carry a fan that big jewel I don't know if you know also those fans are powered by um, underground uh, hot springs we can't exactly carry one of those Let's try this door. Ah, speed elixir. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Let's have power bank. Those don't exist in this world. Jewel, what are you doing? Spit out crazy theories and then try to cute it away by being a potato. You know what? It might be working. Just remember with great power comes great responsibility. Well, for twice of them. <laughs> well, you know what? I can be cruel too. Jewel, you're a nerd. I said it. So yeah, we kind of didn't go into this big old door in the middle. <laughs> Excuse me, WTF. Yeah, that's what I said. You're a nerd. <laughs> Says the one who made a game. What's your point? Listen, I can be a nerd and call people nerds. I mean, Jewel, you're you're still a nerd. There's no escaping it. I'm sorry. It's been decided by committee that you are a nerd. It's 
bit of an expensive spell, but also I do want to level it up. It is really strong though. I mean, look at that. Everyone's back to full health. Come on. Yeah. I'm not going to worry uh, too much about um, about leveling uh, Noah's uh, orb cast. Like, she's going to have it because she tends to be first. Um, no, she had the Tempest Roll, right? Yeah. And uh, Gala. Oops. Uh, Ivory Book. There we go. Here we go. So once I come out of this battle, which I think I'm just going to quietly, you know. Yes, exactly, Jewel. We are very much going to need this information. Although I kind of wish that the UI wasn't in the way, but whatever. The important thing is we have this picture. Uh, let's see. Okay, Book of Prophecy, Volume 1. This is the Walking Mist, it's the first pro pro prophecy we- Oh my goodness! This is the first prophecy, read it well. Mist is death in disguise, mist is a cradle of madness, yeah. Mist stops time, this brings chaos. Mist appears in the west horizon. Leave everything and run for your lives. God, run awaits you all in the hot depths of the earth. Well, the, the heroes of Ross were defeat the mist. It sounds like us. That's the third prophecy. Patherin's bosom. Bosom. It is the gate of shadows. How in the gate of shadows shut? Gate of shadows is a stone flower. Only words carved in the four faces make the flower bloom. Speak to the four faces. Find the words engraved in the faces and engrave them in thine hearts. Reality turns into a nightmare, and the nightmares bring despair. The god brings the lost hope. These humans, the dust of the earth, in his bosom, destroys the mist nightmare. And this here's Ross Aaron who walk through the mist. That must show a sign of being the heroes of Ross Aru. Bathroom's bosom is ever steep in him in darkness. Gather the gate of shadows. Bathroom's bosom. We found there. And shadows of some flower. Those are the four faces. Oh, the big flower bloom. Seek out the key. The key is a star pearl, a silent treasure that slumbers deep under the palace of Rem. The star pearl will open the true gate. Pass and take the ancient path to Rem's bosom. And we heard some machinery. Oh, here we go. Bon Gala stairs! There's stairs there now! Wow! 
The secret will be revealed when you read the four books. So this is what the message uh, this is what the message Hari gave to Sashio meant. That star pearl must be at the bottom of the stairs. Vaughn, let's go down the stairs. <laughs> to the bosom. Anyway. Let's stop that now. Well, well. So you're here to look for treasure too. Who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> what am I doing? Some greeting, that is. I should be asking you what you're doing here. But let me introduce myself. I'm Kara, a two-bit thief. I'm Noah. This is Vaughn and Gala. Kara, I ask you again. What are you doing here? <laughs> oh my god, that person. Oh, you make me laugh. I'm doing what you are, sneak thieving. Sneak thieving? What's that? Something bad is stealing from people. The light's flickering, and once again, I don't know if it's because the light's dying or if it's because the power's dying, but I really can't tell. Again, if I disappear, if the power is out for more than five minutes, it's going to be the end of the stream, but if it comes back right away, then I'll reboot everything. That's wrong. Sneak thieving is wrong. I hate bad people. <laughs> Give me a break. Stop talking like a goody two-shoes. You mean you're going home empty-handed even though everyone uh, everyone ran away and the town is deserted? What did you just say? Everyone ran away? <laughs> oh boy, you guys really are clueless. That's right, everyone's gone. They knew the mist was coming and took uh, took the elevator to an underground shelter to hide. To hide. Ah. Underground shelter. So he's still alive. Hari's still alive. Let's take the elevator and go find him. Sorry, kid, but the elevator won't work. It's locked. Probably as a safety precaution. Oh, boo hoo. Oh, brother. Now say, if it's valuables you're after, there are none here. The townspeople must have taken everything with them when they went underground. The only thing I found was some measly jewel called, called the Star Pearl or something. Wait a minute, Kara! The Star Pearl! Where is it? You want that piece of junk? <laughs> well then, I'll tell you where it is. I palmed the star, the star pearl off to a jeweler in Jeremy, I think. Uh, his name was Zalin or something? Gar, wait! We still have much to ask you! <laughs> oh yeah? Well, I don't have anything to say to you. See you later. I don't get it. How can she travel through the mist at will without a Ross arrow? The Star Pearl! Vaughn, Zalin, and Jeremy has a Star Pearl! And yeah. Power's turned off. Oh well. Uh, let's get out of here.
of here. Oh, you spirit up. Or don't spirit up because apparently Vaughn's gonna move first and defeat the last enemy. Not what I was expecting, but okay. So, now that we have that story trigger about sneak thieving, which is exactly, it's thieving but more sneaky, exactly. And what, what other explanation can you possibly have? Let's go ahead and uh, travel to... Oh, we have Octum here. Uh, Jeremy. Open up. Salin, can I ask you something? What? Do you know about the Star Bro? Hmm. Noah, you can't just ask out of the blue like that. <laughs> yes, Noah, I know of the Star Bro. In fact, here it is. Wow, me is the Star Bro. Can I have it, please? Of course you may. I have no use for it. Here you are. The shifty looking uh, female thief palmed it off on me. It has no value as a precious gem. I never would have thought something like this would make someone so happy. Thank you so much everyone from the bottom of my heart. So many things that I want to say, but the the rating for this stream doesn't allow for it. Um, anyway, now that we have the Star Pearl, we should be able to wink sync. Okay. Um, I'll take some time and think of something, but I don't really think that there's going to be anything useful for me to, to give you from a wink sink right now. Um, wait, no, I don't want to go to Octum. I want to go to Vidna. Well, actually, Octum is not going to be that far off. Wait, no, I did go to Okay, never mind. I I am the silly. Let's 
go ahead and rest in the inn. Might, might even be able to afford uh, another piece of equipment. Let's check our money. Yeah, 3488. I guess I have to talk to you from the other side of the counter. Software you are watching, I guess. Now here, this area can't touch us. Nah, nah, you can't touch us. Miss, miss. Um, we spent a Fair amount of doors of mist here already. Let's go ahead and grab a few more. Just let's make sure that we don't run out of them is the main thing. I think what I might do as far as um, Wink Sync is like, be able to have a button that I press when one is available, so that it's just not open all of the time, so that if I just don't have anything, then it's not something that is available to be redeemed. Or also, if it's a Sunday Super Shovel, where Wink Sync is not available to begin with, um, but my power. I mean, it's kind of like in uh, in Nirana Initiative. Just because you can do a wink sync doesn't mean it's going to be useful. Four or four damage not found. Wait. Probably have you spirit again, actually, because you keep spending all of your AP. Okay, I, I think I think I have something for Wayne's sake. Let's let's uh let's do this. 
so now I I have never seen the manual for this game. Um because I used to rent this game. I, I have never owned this game. Um so I had to consult the wiki to find out how old everyone is. Uh, and I've mentioned it before, Noah's 12, Vana's 14, Gala's 18. And this and the mist has been happening for about 10 years. So of the three, Vaughn and Noah probably have at least some memories of how used uh, how life used to be like at least like in childhood um that's not what i meant to do but okay um but yeah they, they probably have some memory of like how life used to be at least in childhood before the mist came but then you have noah who was no older than like two years old possibly younger than that, when the mist came. So she would not really have any clear memories of how things were. She has spent the majority of her life in a cave. And you're gonna spare it. She's spent the majority of her, of her life in a cave. She's only gotten out at this point about, you know, in story time about a week ago. And the only like the only contact that she's had is a talking wolf who had a raw seru in uh in the middle of her forehead basically so the fact that she had anyone to talk to in the first place is kind of weird. so it's trying to imagine like between these two people who know how a mistless world is supposed to be and this one very young girl whose formative experience has been extremely limited to begin with she knows basically nothing of the world to start and now is being effectively overstimulated at every possible thing that she can find because everything is new. Everything sucks right now because of the mist, but everything is new. So between between the fact of discovering the world as well as maybe a bit of a lack of emotional maturity from her still being 12 and having had no social contact. Like, that pretty much is... Th that's the best explanation to like how she can be so upbeat when everything sucks. So there you go. That, that's what I have for you. I feel like Wing Sync is going to be a lot more interesting um, when it's a game that I haven't played before. I mean, I hopefully I'm coming up with interesting things so far as far as uh, just kind of doing kind of a mental deep dive on the game itself. Um, but it's going to be real interesting when 
uh, it's a new game for me. Like, the next game is going to be The Longest Journey. I have never played The Longest Journey, so... That, that is the point, that, that is like the time when, um, if I have some story beats that I'm kind of theorizing about, um, like, like for instance, I, I think that this, that like A, B, and C is going to happen, but I'm not saying anything yet. Because I'm, one, I'm not sure, and two, I'm trying to keep the suspense. Um, that's going to be cool, because especially if Foose is there, because they're the one who, uh, they're effectively the one who requested this game. <laughs> Mazzy spent the doodads, but Foos requested the game. But yeah, it, I'm sure it's gonna be great for them when when I start theorizing about the game and they're like, "Holy crap, you are so far off!" Uh, let's go ahead and cast Orb. And that uh, that command palette is getting awfully annoying. Magic level increased. Excellent. Wow, how did you go that many hits without, uh, before you actually hit an art? Interact with the thing. Visit pass, touch the west key. Uh, so this one is fire. Visit the pass, touch the south key. Uh, so this one is water. Pass touch the east key. That one's going to be uh, wind. Yes. Pass touch the north key. That is going to be uh, earth. Right. Yes. There we go. Fun! Look, it's moving! The stone is moving! This is so exciting! What kind of internal mechanism is this? Was neat. Oh wow, look! Vaughn, look! The big stone flower opened! Vaughn, look! The center of the stone flower! Some strange thing is moving! That must be the entrance of the path leading to underground octum.
That on the, sm on the stone flower has a small hole of writing on it. Know well that the star pearl opens the door to the past. Sure, let's do it. Wong. Okay, so these caverns are still um, mist infested, unfortunately. Warman and Mush Mush. It's a good name there, Mush Mush. And also, War Man! The Harbinger of War! I am War Man! I am Dead Man! Box. That's a healing flower. It's not the thing, I guess. It's always good to have a uh, an alternative healing method when the uh, MP is running low. How is Mush Mush your worst enemy? Also, there's a new Seru for us. Yeah, you don't like mushrooms? Fair enough. Not a fan of them either, honestly. The ultrasound shows you're a baby. Uh... I believe that, uh... Uh, Gala has the Avenue book right now, so that's why I'm trying to prioritize him. Ah, I didn't get it though. I am going to switch the uh, Ivory book over to Vaughn. Considering that uh, enemies here are dealing rot. Healing flower. There's branching paths. There's a little something to be desired as far as map design. Warman and Madbird. It doesn't look like a bird, honestly. I'm pretty sure birds don't look like that.
It's trying its best. Are you serious? You blocked my entire tornado flame, you absolute cur. Yeah, it's trying his best to block my attacks, holy crap. I like it to say, holy crap. Save being mean to the bird. I also get Gala level up. How do you feel about that? Very strangely designed map. And with my luck, I'm probably like following exactly. Oh, you screwed up. I'm fo probably following exactly the correct path and um, thus missing all of the treasures. See, it's even called fish poison. I mean, come on. Why must you make burn sound? I mean, if it wants to be a bird, I'm not going to stop it, but it should be more convincing of its position as a bird. That's what I'm saying. If you're going to be a bird and you call your attack fish poison... Maybe reconsider your actions. what you call it, the bird calls it bird poison. I mean, who knows? I don't speak fish. Oh. That's trippy, man. What is this? Exactly, I don't speak fish. Fish, B I R D, fish. Are you? This is defending absolutely everything, what the hell? There, jeez. Oh, that's probably not good. Thankfully, we dealt with it.
<laughs> oh no, the fish is angry. Not you too. Okay, there's another path here. Box! No! Maybe don't use down attacks when you're dealing with a floating enemy. Come on, please. using hyper arts. Are we gonna capture him? No. <laughs> anyway, box. Fury boost. What the hell is this room? Like, seriously. Well, there are two ways around here. I get down to get up. But when I'm up, I can't get down. Can't get down, can't get level. Uh, also, I should probably spear it up here. Hey, Zero, how's it going? Being attacked by by the the strength of a thousand chorus lines. Uh, actually, who are you attacking? Yeah, you attack Nova. Everyone else attacks Mush Mush. Pretty strong hit, not as strong as I thought it might end up being. Oh geez, this might actually be a kill for Gala. Yep. That was poorly orchestrated. I was hoping uh, to get Vaughn the final hit there. Because Vaughn has the, uh, the ivory book on, so... So hopefully I went the right way, because holy crap, that cave is confusing. Wow! Vaughn Gala over here! There's a whole lot of people here! Ah, these must be the caves under Octum. Octum? That means Hari must be here. He's the one who can tell me what, what my dreams mean. He must be here, right? More than likely, yeah. You got legal aid? What? Oh, you got Legayad. Okay. Hooray! Fall, let's go! Let's go find Hari! Alright, so Hari is more than likely somewhere in this town. We got a whole lot of town to uh, explore. And we're going to be doing that after the break. So y'all can take a moment, 
Get some to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, search your arms, search your legs, search your teeth. And in about 10 to 15 minutes, we shall explore the underground city of Octum and uh, hopefully find Hari therein. So, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>